Hi, wasting anything is awful and one of the most important ones is fresh water and with the growing population and how we waste water we are gonna drink ourselves dry. Seems I have to do another one of those rants. So buckle up ladies and don't skip. In my last video I talked about how we have overpopulated the earth and are destroying everything. Then I received some comments saying they don't like me to get political. It's like you see your family members are peeing in your water supply and you tell them we shouldn't pee in our water supply. And your grandpa says we don't do politics in this household. How's that political? In that video I compared how the population of India, China and South Saharan Africa is growing just because there are some of the biggest populations. I don't mean that they are single handedly increasing the population. In fact, they are doing the same as everyone else. You should really watch the late Professor Hans Rosling's presentation or if you like a shorter explanation, watch Kuzgasat's channel video. They are both great presentations on how the world population is changing. Kuzgas whatever is a beautiful science channel anyways. Basically in old times a couple would make 6 to 10 kids, a bunch of them would die and 2 or 3 would make it to adulthood. So the world population was increasing very slowly. Then starting in Europe with the progress in industrialization and medicine, families still made many kids. But now none of them died. This resulted in an explosion in population. It took a few generations for the couples to realize sh we never signed up for so many kids. They started making two or three kids and the growth stopped. I see the same trend in our family tree. Now we are two brothers with one and two kids. This is how things naturally unfold, with Africa having the final explosion as they are advancing. And they will stop too as soon as everyone has proper sanitation, medicine, industry and education. And everyone in the world must have all those or it's bad for everyone. And the less fortunate people are not the problem anyway. They don't waste because they can't afford to waste and can't afford to have things that make pollution. It is us, the fortunate people, who can afford to waste and pollute. We must correct our ways so when the less fortunate become fortunate, we can all live in harmony with our world. So as Dr. Rosling explained, even now the number of new babies born every year is not rising in average, with some places shrinking and some growing. But this number of new kids have to grow older and replace the older and fewer generations and that's why the population will continue to grow. They will eventually grow through through all ages and as Dr. Rosling predicted, the population will settle around the year 2100, which is great news. But it will settle around 11 billion people. That's terrible news. I did say we have overpopulated earth right now and some people disagree. It's funny, they said no, there's tons of unused land on the surface of the planet. This is not a game of Tetris or how many clowns we can fit in a tiny car. It's not even about the unused space. Haven't you seen the recent report from the World Wildlife Fund? Human activity has wiped out over 60% of vertebrate animals in the past 50 years, more than 80% in some places. It's equivalent to killing off 4.5 billion people people and in the same period we have more than doubled our population. The nature around us is going away and we will be left with flies, mosquitoes and cockroaches and whatever that can adapt to us like this thing. It reminds me of this meme. Our ship can't be sinking, my end just rose 200 feet. I still say we are overpopulated because at our current numbers we clearly can't manage our destruction and waste, let alone 11 billion people. But if we can reach a point where we can manage ourselves well and stop harming the world, even at 100 billion we won't be overpopulated. Well, all I can do is to educate and give away scopes thanks to Keysight and multimeters thanks to circuit specialists at the end of the video. Anyway, one of the most important wastes is water. Yes, the world around us is made of water, but 97.5% of it is seawater not fit for human consumption. And the world's fresh water is declining rapidly as we are using it up. And when there is no fresh water, there will be war. Many experts say that the global warming causing droughts in Syria is a cause of their current civil war. And in the meanwhile, we waste water like it grows on trees. Did you know that making a t-shirt wastes 2700 liters or 2.7 metric tons of water? Makes me feel awful for selling those stupid full bridge rectifier shirts. Get your merch at my Teespring shop! Yeah, I'm not better than anybody, but maybe I can find a solution here and there. If we reduce our consumption while fighting the global warming, the world would have enough time to replenish the fresh water. And I have a great solution. What if we invent something to shut down the tap water when it's not in use? Hmm? Hmm?
Yeah, there are infrared sensor faucets all over the place like in restaurant washrooms. Or there are mechanical foot valves too. You think you're such a wise ass, eh? Shut up! Those restaurant sensors work awfully and then they piss some tiny water that doesn't clean at all. And the foot valves I've seen are either for one hose or don't have the hot and cold control. I want a control that you wouldn't have to replace your current faucet and taps. And for that, I bought this electric valve. We can design some cool sh** with this. The valve opens when you apply 120 volt to it. And I have a foot switch that applies the 120 volt to my valve, like this. What the f Oh, I f up. This is the 12 volt DC version. Stay tuned, I have to get the 120 volt version. There. These are 120 volts. It's all wired. There. Well, come to think of it, having 120 volt AC under your foot in a wet bathroom is not quite safe, is it? Well, that 12 volt valve was safer, or I could use one of those force sensing resistors or any pressure sensor that I could pot and seal and design a circuit around it. Well, it's good enough for a demo though. Just make sure that your valve is Shut, close, oh, sh what the hell, what the hell, all right, do you also turn backwards with your left hand, let's turn on the valve and see if it is all sealed, oh sh it's leaking water from here, ah damn it, I need those sealing tapes but I don't have any, damn, do you think I can seal it with electric tape maybe? Let's hope electric tape does it, otherwise I'll have to go buy some of those sealing tapes. So far so good. Well, it looks like sh**, but hopefully it will seal, at least for a demo. Ha! <laughs> it is sealing! Nice! Electric tape for everyone. <laughs> there we go. Professional plumbing done professionally. Now the question is, does it work? Of course it does. Was there ever any doubt? My foot switch is made of plastic so it shouldn't shock you, but in any case it's plugged into the GFCI switch on the wall and should protect. Now to measure the savings I remove this drain to measure the water usage. Ah sh**. Why do they use this stupid bend here that only collects dirty water and booger? The S-Bend or trap is invented by Alexander Cummings. The bend traps some water in it that blocks the pipe and prevents the stench of the sewers to return through the pipe. Okay, all the booger water is collected. Oh f There is no drain! Ah sh Now I just use a pot to measure the water usage. Okay, now that everything is set, let's start with a simple task like washing hands without foot control. Opening water, soap, soap, soap. Washing, 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 washing. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And done. And that's... Three and a half glasses of water. Okay, starting over with the foot control. This Oh, f I forgot this sh Okay, foot control. Open water, soap, 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 some water, wash, 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 rinse, 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 and done. And this time we have one and a half cups. That's huge saving. Okay, let's do a morning ritual. First, you pee and flush the toilet that wastes so much water already because it's not the efficient kind. I'm the rental, otherwise I would have changed it. They literally pay for themselves, they save so much water. Well, at least I installed a handheld bidet that saves so much water compared to the watering pots. Well, that probably confused the hell out of the wiper community. Anyway, no foot control. You pee, you open water, soap, soap, soap. Wash your hand. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Then you wash your face, remove the eye boogers, then you blow your nose, and soap, 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 wash your hand again, rinse, 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 and you're done. 
and that takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 and a half. Okay, same ritual with foot control this time. You open water, soap, 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 a bit of water, wash your hand, rinse, 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 wash face, remove the eye boogers, remove the actual boogers, soap, 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 wash hands and rinse and done and that's one two three four cups only that's huge saving and doesn't cost much to make people get on it make it a product give away time isn't it awesome how keyside keeps letting me give away these awesome scopes hope they never stop to win one subscribe to their channel so you know how to use a scope and other electronic tips and tricks and either enter free from the link in the description or consider becoming my patron at patreon.com and be in every draw and thanks to circuit specialists i like to give five multimeters to my patrons maybe not exactly this one but i like this circuit specialist is a great store to get your tools and thanks to keysight another scope goes to gymnasia yovan yovanovic zmaj in serbia along with other tools they might need purchased from the support of my patrons thanks for your support